Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will see how to capture MPP logs using command line interface for voice portal or Avaya Aura experience portal. Let us begin with logging into command line access of the system with a non-root user. In my case, I am using craft. Now log in with root. Now I'll run this utility called get mpp logs.sh and see how it can be used by using argument hyphen hyphen help. It provides us the options that can be used to run this utility. We can use this utility to capture logs from the system, to capture transcriptions from the system, as well as to archive mpp debug files, symbols and binaries. Hyphen hyphen help option can be used to see the usage of this utility whereas hyphen hyphen web is used to run from the MPP service menu. It's not necessary that you provide only one argument while running this utility. You can capture in one go logs, transcriptions and debug files by providing all the arguments to the utility at the same time. So let's try to capture the logs separately first, then we'll run the same utility for transcriptions, then for debug files, and at the end of it, we'll capture all of them together. Get MPP logs.sh hyphen hyphen logs. This will capture all MPP logs available on this system and bundle them in a tar.gz format. This utility should not be run on the system if MPP is busy, which means if CPU usage is above 90%, it is recommended not to run this utility. In our case, it is just 4%, so I'll enter yes here. So if you look at the output here, it is gathering all these log files and packing them in the form of tar.gc. At the end of it, it says, Log collecting process has been completed successfully and it also points us to the location where our compressed file has been dumped. So let's go to this directory by doing change directory to opt avaya experience portal slash mpp slash temp slash avp support. When I do list here. I can see that there is a new compressed file created here which contains all MPP logs and the file name itself tells about the host name followed by date stamp timestamp underscore MPP and at the end of it the format which is tar.gz. So let's try to run the same command with a different parameter this time. So we'll run get mpp logs.sh command with hyphen hyphen transcriptions. Again it checks for the CPU usage. As we are 5%, let's enter yes. So another bundle has been created which has transcription files. Let's do ls minus ltr under avp support directory. We can see one file listed here. What happens whenever we run this command, it overwrites the existing bundle of files at avp support directory. So in case you need to keep any of these files, you'll have to take a dump of them in some other folder on the system. Let's try to run the same utility with hyphen hyphen debug files option. This will capture all the debug files from the system and again create a tar.gz for them. So when we do ls hyphen ltr again in this directory, it has replaced the previous file which was already there under avp support directory on the system. Now the last thing that we will be doing here is run the utility get mpp logs.sh with multiple arguments where we will be capturing logs, transcriptions as well as debug files in the same compressed file. So I give all the parameters to the utility. It again checks for the CPU usage. It is currently 6% so we enter yes.
Now it is capturing all the log files, all the transcription files and the debug files available on the system and bundling them again in tar.gz format. It will again be at the same location that we have discussed. Now you have to download this tar.gz file from the system and send it over to Avaya support for troubleshooting. So this completes our demonstration about how to capture logs from MPP using command line interface. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for your time today. For any questions, comments or feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.